welcome back. This is the channel of the whiteboard doctor. Uh, today we're going to be talking about access. It's going to be a five minute EKG video. These videos are meant to cover in 12 lead electrocardiogram topic in five minutes. We very rarely accomplish that. Most of them are closer to seven minutes, but we will go for it. Uh, for those who are coming back, welcome back. For those who are new, feel free to check out our other videos, ask questions, subscribe, uh, do pretty much whatever you want. All right, let's get started. So access. So access on a 12 lead EKG is all about kind of the summed largest vector of overall electrical activity or depolarization. So when doing this, I want to draw what's going to be a beautiful, terrible drawing of a heart. So here's a heart, um, right? So this is RA, LA, RV, LV. And we're going to call this kind of the central point. So when understanding access, um, it's important to remember that overall heart depolarization, let's see what color should we use? We'll use green. Overall heart depolarization goes in this direction, right? A little bit kind of slanted bottom left. Um, that is the overall normal depolarization of the heart. So when talking about access on a 12 lead EKG, have that in mind. Another thing, um, we're going to go over kind of some degrees, angles, and placement of the leads. Um, if that is confusing to you, I'd recommend viewing one of our other videos. I'll link it up in the top right corner as kind of introduction to the 12 lead EKG and go over, over some of those logistics. Um, so if I start talking and things are confusing, check that video out first, uh, then come on back and we can talk about um, this now. So uh, I'll kind of be assuming you guys get those topics for this discussion. Perfect. So now let's draw some leads. So this here is going to be 30 degrees. Can anyone think what lead? Oh, I'm sorry. It's actually minus 30 degrees. What lead this is going to be, right? AVL. Good. Then this lead here is going to be zero degrees. Can anyone think what this lead is? Good. It's one of the other limb leads. It's lead one. So all these are going to be limb leads. Then this lead here is going to be 60 degrees. Can anyone think what this one is? Yeah, lead two, all right, we're all talking limb leads. And this one straight down towards the hand foot is going to be at 90 degrees. And this is, yeah, AVF, great. Then this one over here is going to be at 120 degrees. And can people guess what that is? Another one of the limb leads, right? These are all limb leads. This is lead three. We have AVF, AVL, AVR, and one, two, three, which are all limb leads. And then this is going to be the last one, which is going to be at minus 150 degrees, right? Because this right here is zero degrees to 180 degrees. So superior, I should say north of this line is all going to be negatives. And this is our last limb lead, which is A, V, R. Good. So when we talk about access and this general depolarization, right, that goes down this way. I'm just going to draw this in. So if the depolarization is normal, um, are you going to expect positive or negative deflections in certain spots? That's pretty much what we're going to be talking about. So when we talk about this normal vector, well, actually, let's just write it. So normal is going to sit between negative 30 degrees and positive 90 degrees. All right. Then left axis deviation, which will abbreviate ALD, is going to sit between negative 30 degrees and negative 90 degrees. And then right axis deviation, or RAD, is going to sit from 90 degrees to 180 degrees. So when talking, normal right is from negative 30 degrees to 90 degrees. So if the vector of depolarization falls within these degrees, it's considered a normal axis. All right, let's get a new color. We'll use purple. So then left axis deviation, right, is negative 30 degrees to negative 90 degrees. Negative 90 degrees would just be straight up north here. So this here is going to be left axis deviation. So if the vector of depolarization falls this way, and there's just the overall vector, right? 
is going to be LAD, left axis deviation. Then right axis deviation, let's grab another color here. Uh, we can actually just use red. Uh, right axis deviation, right, is going to be negative 90 degrees, or I'm sorry, this is confusing. It is plus 90 degrees to plus 180 degrees. This is supposed to be a dash after right axis deviation. So positive 90 degrees to positive 180 degrees, which is right here, that's going to be right axis deviation. So we'll just fill that in. So right axis deviation is going to be if the vector depolarization is going in this general direction. So how does this translate to 12 lead EKG is the next question, right? So I have a few EKGs here, and we're going to go over each one. Um, when looking at this, I'm going to give you kind of hints here. This one is going to be normal, right? And normal axis means that it's sitting between negative 30 degrees to positive 90 degrees, which means its vector depolarization is this one here, right? So when looking at the leads, what do we expect the QRS complex to do, right? So the R wave, is it going to be a positive or negative deflection? So if we look at our leads for a normal axis, you're going to expect a positive R wave in lead one and a positive R wave in AVF. Why does that make sense? Well, if we go back here, we have AVF here, one here. So if our vector depolarization is going directly between these two, right, it's going a little bit towards one and a little bit towards AVF because it's going right in between the two. So both should have a positive R wave deflection, which are these here, right? These positive R waves. So if both, so if you have a positive R wave in one and AVF, you have a normal axis. All right, so always when you start looking at axis, look at one and AVF. All right, now I'm going to scroll down to this next EKG. Um, and this next EKG, we're going to look at, again, 1 and AVF, right? So we have 1 here. We have AVF here. So in 1, is this R wave here? Is it positive or negative? Well, it's going up, right? So it's positive. So we have a positive R wave in lead 1. And then in AVF, do we have um, a positive or negative deflection. So here we have a little r wave and a big negative s wave, right? So this is a negative deflection because of the s, right? We have a little r wave, which is right here, and we have a big s wave, which is right here. So the overall net is negative. So what does that mean now? We have a positive in lead one, a negative in AVF. Is this going to be um, a normal axis? No, because normal, right, if we go back up here, normal is a positive in both. We don't have a positive in both because AVF, yes, wave is bigger, so that's a negative. So then we have to look, is this left axis or right axis deviation? So we can do that a few different ways. And the general way is just understanding our drawing over here, right? So if we have a left axis deviation, you expect AVL to be positive or negative. Well, the left axis deviation this vector depolarization is going more towards AVL, so you're going to expect AVL to be higher up, right? What about, um, we can do any other lead. What about lead three? So if you have a left axis deviation, it's going directly away from lead three, right? So you expect lead three to be negative, right? So if we go down here, we can look, right? So we have AVL here. Is this a positive R wave or a negative X, S wave? This is very much positive, right? Look at this big positive R wave. So now in our degrees, right, we'll go back up to our picture, we have the vector of depolarization going more towards one and AVL, and then let's go towards lead three. Here's lead three. Is lead three a positive R or is it a negative S? Look at this big negative S wave, right? So lead three is negative. So what we're seeing now is that if we draw out on the side here, right, so we have our I'm just going to draw another little heart here. So we have another little heart, and we have AVL, right? We have lead 3. Our vector depolarization is positive in AVL, and it's negative 
in lead three, which means this depolarization of the heart is going much more towards AVL than it is lead three, which means it's going to be deviated to the left, right? Because it's got to be facing more this way. If that's a little confusing, we'll go down to the other one and keep talking about them. All right, so I have a third EKG here. And we'll do the same thing, right? So for the sake of this one, let's first look at AVF. So do we have a positive R or a negative S? We'll look at this big positive R wave here. Great. And then we go to lead one. In lead one, we have an R wave here and an S wave here. Um, is it positive or negative? It's tough to see, but I'll tell you the R wave is two boxes. The S wave is five boxes. So the S wave is more, so this is overall negative. Now, for right axis deviation, that's all you need, actually, is a positive in AVF and a negative in lead one. But we can use the same thing we used before, right? So let's draw our leads, right? So this is AVL is here, one is here, two is here, AVF is here, three is here and AVR is here. So if we look at our leads, uh, let's make our vector depolarization purple. So we have a positive towards AVF, so this is gonna be a positive, right? We have a negative towards lead one. Now let's look at, um, let's look at AVL here. AVL, this S wave, so we have a negative towards AVL. So a negative towards AVL, let's look at lead three, right? We have a positive R wave towards lead three. So right there, that tells you that this vector depolarization is going towards the right for right axis deviation, right? Because it's negative in one and AVL and it's positive in three and AVF. So it's shifted this way, okay? So if we go back to the top, I hope that all makes sense. Um, just to review, right, we have a positive R, we have a positive R in 1 and AVF. That is going to be normal access because it's falling right in between, right? If we have a positive in lead 1, I should write uh, the formal definition here. So LAD, left axis deviation, lead 1 is positive, AVF is negative. AVL is positive. That'll tell you that it's moving towards the left, right? Because again, it's going to be shifting this way. Then right axis deviation is going to be the opposite, right? You're going to have a negative in lead one, positive in AVF, positive in lead three. So positive AVF, positive lead three, negative lead one. And that's going to be facing more this way towards these. So it's right axis deviated because it's shifted to the right. All right, so axis is all about knowing where your different leads sit in, uh, where your different limb leads sit in uh, junction to where the heart is. It's about the largest vector of depolarization and the axis can swing back and forth. It can swing more towards the left, AVL and lead one. It can swing more towards the right, which is three, AVF, or it can sit in the middle, which is normal, which is AVF and one. Okay, please leave any questions below, comments, likes, concerns, subscribe if you want, check out other videos. Uh, I'll uh, link uh, some other videos in the, uh, at the end of this too, um, and hope you all have a good day. Thanks for listening.